Good morning, happy Sunday. It's quarter past eight. Uh, I've been out to drop Andrew off at work and I've come back to a Sunday breakfast. I was going to show you how I make this, but <clears throat> I'm still not 100% confident with my scrambled egg. But it's okay for me anyway. It may be a bit rubbery, we'll see how it tastes. But I've got two eggs that I've scrambled with salt and pepper and a splash of milk because I have plenty of healthy extra A choice today. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got two Linda McCartney sausages that I've done in the active fry and a small tin of beans that I've added um, Henderson's relish and chipotle chilli flakes to. So that is one sin for the two sausages. Everything else is free of protein. Then I've got an apple just to finish the breakfast off and a coffee made with skimmed milk. Good morning all and happy Sunday. I've been in the shower, had a wash and a refresh, got dressed. It's about 20 to 12, just been out for a quick walk with Charlie, although it's cold and damp out there. I do have to go out again later this afternoon to pick Andrew up and take Charlie out again. But I'm doing a little vlog today just because I tend to do a few different things at a weekend, a few different foods, something a bit more interesting. And I had a question from one of my viewers, Jacqueline, about Free Food February. So in previous years, I've done a vlog every day showing Slimming World and Free Food February in the month of February. Now, this month, I'm not going to be guaranteeing a, a vlog every day. Um, but I'll just upload as and when I can. Um, in my game, Harry Potter Wizards Unite, there's a couple of events coming up, so my time will be taken up with that. And also, I'm, I'm already planning a family weekend over the weekend of, the, of Valentine's Day, where I might not necessarily be vlogging. Um, and I just want to spend some time with Andrew and Charlie, so I'm not going to be guaranteeing a video every single day. But I will upload as and when I can. But what is Free Food February? I went on the Slimming World website and I've got the explanation here. Free food is the stroke of genius behind food optimising that makes losing weight with Slimming World so incredibly different, so, so satisfying and so, so easy. Simply put, they're the hundreds of foods that you can eat to your heart's or tummy's content without measuring, weighing or counting and without ever going hungry. During the whole of February, we'll be celebrating all of those free foods in a Slimming World group near you. We'll be getting excited about menus, ideas and recipes where free food is the star of the show and losing weight like a dream. Join in with Slimming World's Free Food February and discover the super slimming power of free food for yourself. So that's the blurb from Slimming World. And then I went on their Facebook page because I know that there's usually a competition during Free Food February. So the 2020 comp competition is detailed on their Facebook page. There's usually a taster in group where we can all swap ideas, take recipes and cook something and all enjoy something at a taster. Now, I wasn't listening in group to find out when mine exactly was. But I know we are definitely having a Free Food February taster and I assume that a lot of other groups will be as well. But on their Facebook page it says it's, it's hashtag Free Food Feb competition time. Would you love to win shopping vouchers and a gorgeous Slimming World apron? It's easy. Throughout Free Food Feb do these three things to be in with a chance to win. Take photos of your party and your delicious free food meals. So it means that means the Slimming World taster, I presume, and also every meal that it contains free food. Upload them to Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. And remember to use the hashtag, hashtag free food feb. I'll see if I can write that underneath uh, in your post. And Slimming World will announce weekly winners every Friday throughout February. I've just been looking on the website and there's also a new recipe book coming out. So from the, um, if you buy a 12 week countdown 
or a gift voucher between the 9th of February and the 22nd of February, you will get the free food A to Z, which includes recipes such as five spice cucumber and chicken stir fry, baked spaghetti pie, keema mata, cottage pie and dirty rice. In Slimming World's free food A to Z, we're given more than 60 ingredients a chance to shine. Some recipes will introduce you to free foods you may not have tried before, while others use familiar ingredients to create clever new meals. And of course, if you don't buy countdowns, you can just wait until the offer's over and it'll be available in group for £4.95. I am not affiliated to Slimming World in any way, by the way. I just like to share things as and when I come across them and explain a bit more about Free Food February. So now that's all over with, I'm going to show you my new camera. Now this is not an in-depth review by any means. It, I'm just going to show you it, tell you what I think so far. Later on down the line, there might be a bit more of a review, but I'm just going to show you quickly what we've got. Um, so for months and months, Andrew's been wanting to buy me a camera or buy us both a camera because, as you know, we like vlogging on our holidays and our walks. And we wanted, well, Andrew wanted something with a bit more better picture quality and better sound quality for when it's windy and things like that because as you'll know if you've watched my previous videos when we're out and about and it's very windy it's difficult to hear me or Andrew talking so hopefully we can eliminate some of that with the microphone so what we've got is the DJI Osmo Pocket and it's a very small handheld camera and here it is so you can use it on its own and you'll be able to see what you're recording here in this little screen. Let me turn it on. There you go. Can you see that there, that little screen? If I turn it round, you'll be able to see my... You can see my little recording set up there. I need to charge it and you can see I've got a little uh, I don't know what these are called port and you can plug it into your phone and you can use you can then use your phone as the recording screen and it's really easy to transfer footage or photos across to my phone and then upload uh, you do need an app this is not sponsored or anything, we've bought this with our own money. You do need an app, DJI Mimo app there. Um, and it comes with a little case, you also get an Android phone port thing. Um, we're waiting for a wide angle camera and here's the little tripod that's just arrived. So you mount your phone in here, like so. And then the little camera is held in there. Where's oh, and then we've got the microphone. And as I say, we're waiting for the wide angle camera. So, so far, it has been a little bit fiddly with the angles and so forth, and not having a proper um, tripod for it until yesterday. Um, as you know, I had to co-opt Andrew into being my cameraman on Thursday evening um, so you can end up spending quite a bit on the uh, additions the extra things that you need uh, you also need an SD card I think you have to buy that separately um, but yeah so far I found it really easy to use easy to film easy to grasp um, <coughs> I did find that the instruction booklet wasn't very detailed but I think it's like Andrew says, these days things are meant to be more intuitive. Um, you just press things and find out how they work. Um, and there's also lots of things on YouTube and online to help guide you through. Uh, I've uploaded several things. You can't upload direct from the app to YouTube. And I'm not going to be able to use it when I'm doing a live video or a live stream on um Instagram 
Um, but other than that, I can use it in my day-to-day -day filming, although it is a little bit more fiddly than just whacking your phone out and pressing record. Um, but if I've got a bit more time now and again, I'll definitely be using the camera and I'm sure that Andrew will definitely be using it to film our walks and our holiday. So yeah, that's Free Food February, that's my camera. Um, like I say, I'm not going to be guaranteeing a vlog every single day in February, but I'll certainly do what I can to celebrate the power of free food on Slimming World during February. And I'm going to go and enjoy some free food in my lunch just now. So here I am, 20 past 12, I've just put my uh, meal together. Yesterday in the morning I made some barbecue bean loaf and some curry loaf and I kept one piece in the fridge and the others have gone in the freezer. So this is the barbecue bean loaf. It's a tin of baked beans, a packet of the bachelor's curry rice, which is one sin for the whole pack, making this a quarter of a sin. Then we've got three eggs um, and I put, I didn't have barbecue seasoning, so I put, back, I put paprika and some of the, the spice and tice chips and wedges flavouring in it. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going today. And then on there we've got a bed of salad, green leaves, cucumber, red onion, peppers, tomatoes and beetroot. And I couldn't be bothered to make up the full yoghurt and mint dip, so I've just basically got uh, some plain fat-free Greek style yoghurt just as a bit of a dressing. And then I've got a banana and some grapes and a zero sugar Fanta orange. My little pal in his bed. I'm just about to watch the How to Lose Weight Well program while I eat my lunch. It's a bit later on now, it's nearly three o'clock and I fetched Andrew from work and took Charlie out for a walk. It did brighten up so we got some sunshine and a dry period. And now it's time for an afternoon snack. So I'm going to have half a pear and I'm finally going to try the new Hi-Fi bar. This will be half my Health Extra B choice today and I'll have the other half later on. You can see the chocolate and the honeycomb bits. So the description is a seriously sumptuous cereal bar topped with pieces of honeycomb dipped and drizzled in milk chocolate. So they are three sins or two for your Health Extra B. And I've got that with a coffee made with skim milk. And I've also made a sugar-free Vimto in my bottle to drink through the next few hours. So now we're just going to have a relaxing few hours as a family. Right, here we are. It's tea time. I was going to relax, but I've actually ended up sorting the car insurance out. And that usually takes about an hour, but it's sorted now. And I'm ready for my evening meal. So I've got the Spice and Tice Chicken Tikka Masala uh, using, I think, I can't remember if it's chicken breast or chicken thigh in here, but it's obviously chicken in the Tikka Masala Spice Mix, tomatoes and onions in there. I've got that with stir fry veg and some potato and carrot chips. Sounds a bit odd, but Andrew actually made them yesterday and then I ended up having risotto. So we've had them left over since yesterday. So that is all free and speed. And then for my pudding, I've got a cheesecake. So I've got 25 grams of all bran for the other half of my Health Extra B. I've got chocolate yogurt. So that's I've added two sins worth of hot chocolate powder to some fat-free Greek style yogurt. And I've topped it with the other half of my pear and a bit of the um skinny food company chocolate syrup so two sins there and half a healthy extra b chicken tikka masala curry and no added sugar vimto i'll just show you what i'll be eating come supper time uh, i'm recording this slightly early so that i can get the vlog up and i'll be eating this sometime during the evening so I've had three sins already. I've had one sin on my sausages this morning and two sins on my chocolate quark. My Healthy Extra A, I've only had one today 
was uh, skimmed milk and my health extra B was one high fiber and 25 grams of all bran and my evening snacks are salt and vinegar french fries for four sins and a tasty little numbers milk chocolate biscuit bar for five sins you can get those from amazon with an apple so there's nine sins there i'll have that with a coffee made with skimmed milk and that means that i end the day on 12 sins thanks for watching and i'll see you next time